My name is Alex Grady. I'm an academic designer at the high school level for uh, STEM science. My name is Tori Mork. Um, I'm an assistant academic designer with middle school science. My name is Haley Quinn and I'm an assistant academic designer and for high school science. I would say a STEM project takes the content that they're learning in the classroom and then applies it to a real life example and really elaborates on the things that they've learned to make sure they really understand the concepts. And it's just, you know, it's one thing to learn something, but then it's another thing to take that and really apply it to a real life example. And it really challenges you to see if you actually understand what you've learned in the classroom. So I think it's a good check and it's fun too, so. With the projects, it's kind of, the teacher has a lot of control. So if they want to frame it really nicely and say, this is your project, this is the setup, this is kind of where we want you to go and take it this direction they can, or they can just present it to them and say, this is a very broad topic, like maybe a paragraph of information with guidelines and kind of see where the students take it. Like it doesn't have to be the same for every student and it would be interesting to see how different groups of students with different perspectives come up with different ideas or solutions to the problem that's presented to them. The STEM projects are definitely good at bringing science into like the real world because they are designed to be something that they might face in the real world. Um, so it kind of fights the misconception that science is just like a bunch of things you have to memorize. Um, I know that some students may, may view science in that way, um, but the STEM projects really help them understand that what they're learning in class does have a real world application and that they will be using this um, when they go out into the career field. It's also important cognitively to be able to apply and analyze and then use the information in, to create new things that allows students to have a better conceptual understanding of the subject matter and of uh, how it relates to the world around them. They're integrated throughout the module in middle school science um, because each lesson builds towards the end project. Um, so as they're learning concepts and skills in each of the lessons, um, they use those concepts and skills later on to do the project. And it's in the forefront of the students' minds because they know the project from the beginning. So it's not just like a capstone project, but it's something that they are thinking about as, they learning, as they're learning all of the content. Um, so it really is integrated throughout the module. Because we're starting this at the beginning of a unit for high school or module for middle school, we find that they're already priming themselves to be like, I need, I need to find this information in order to do my project. A lot of the projects really encourage student creativity. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just something that the teacher is telling them to do, but they have to bring in their own ideas, um, whether it's like developing a solution, they have to come up with the solution. Um, so it really encourages student creativity, um, which encourages them to think deeper about what they're doing and why they're doing it. Well, I think it also helps just when a student goes through science and they might struggle, they might just dismiss it and say, when am I ever gonna need to know this? Or when am I ever going to use this in my life? It doesn't apply to me. But if you have a STEM project that is presented to you at the beginning, that's a real world example of how it will be used, then it kind of helps reinforce that this is important material that you should at least have an understanding of and you can appreciate because this is how it applies to the world that you live in. It takes it from an abstract concept of science ideas and then makes it into something that they can really stay focused and, stay, and apply it to things that they see in their everyday life.